counterattack on location this week in Irvine, California. The 2019 National League is underway. We have highlights of a couple of games from this past weekend and much more on a brand new counterattack. Hi hey everyone, Greg Meskel here. Thanks for joining us on the Counter Attack. We're here this week at the Woolet Aquatic Center in Irvine, California for week one of the 2019 National League. There are many teams back from last year's National League, including defending champion Olympic Club. Also some new clubs and some new college teams on the way that will join later in the season. For this first weekend, we checked in on highlights of a couple of new clubs this year. Pacific Coast Riptide and Commerce. Let's see how they fared in week one. Taking a look at two new entries to the National League this year. First up, Pacific Coast Riptide taking on USA University. Early on, University is up 3-1, and then Anthony Rethens has a huge stop in goal not long after, chasing Travisano back-to-back -back goals, University rolling 5-1. Jake Earhart opens the second for University with this money bar-in shot. Then afterwards, Riptide's Edward Shivalovsky saves another University attempt. Moments later, Riptide's Dalton Kennefick gets the assist from Devin Mefford to get the Orange County squad their second goal of the match. They trail 7-2. After University's Ash Moulton scores a quick penalty shot, Riptide is back with this goal from Raphael Kremp on the dish from Kennefick. It's an 8-3 game. Two more University goals to close the half, and University heads to the third with a 10-3 advantage. Earhart goes for the donut shot to get a hat trick early in the third, but then check this out from Riptide's Sam Gonzalez. He goes for the backhand shot, getting it around the defender's hands, and it's good. It's an 11-4 game. After goals on each side, University starts to run the score a bit higher. Efforts here from Sawyer Rhodes, Felix Brozina Villem, and Matt Kasora raise the score up to 15-5. Shivalovsky saves a 5-meter shot here, but Moulton follows up with a skip shot. University is rolling 16-6. Chase McCall would deliver one more goal for the new National League squad, but USA University would have two more goals on the day, thanks to Gabe DiSupolo and Molina, and the USA squad takes the win 18-7. Post-game, we caught up with Sawyer Rhodes about the win and Brock Gordon of Riptide to discuss his team's National League debut. Yeah, I think we won 18-7. It was a pretty decisive victory. Um, our team's pretty young. It's a, I think it's all freshmen or sophomores in college and one senior in high school. Um, but we have a lot of talent and I think we're going to surprise a lot of teams. This is like an opportunity for us to play together. A lot of us played against each other in high school and play against each other in college. So it's pretty fun getting to play it with them rather than against them. This is Riptide's first season uh, participating and you know we're just here for the experience, uh, best talent in the U.S. So we're just here having fun seeing what we got. I think this is just a learning process for us. We're uh, playing the best teams. Um, seeing what works, what doesn't. So more than anything, this is just a learning experience and just having fun. Now on to alumni taking on new entry commerce. Early on, alumni's Daniel Lenhart rockets this shot into the cage and then Joey Fuentes follows suit to make it 2 nothing alumni. Not long after, commerce gets in the mix when Daniel Velasquez wrestles around his defender to hit this shot. Then Ricardo Reyes would deliver one more goal for the new National League squad and Carlos Heredia Able to connect on the skip shot, Commerce now in front, 3-2. John Wall not to be confused with Paul Wall, no grills here for alumni converting on the penalty. They're up 4-3. Lenhart opens the second with a big steal for alumni, and Matt Burton gives off to Andrew Rigo. He gets the tally, 5-3 alumni. Move ahead now, Commerce gets in a pattern of goals and saves. First, Alfredo De La Mora comes up big with a goalie stop. Then his teammate Steven Cassis rises up to hit this one. Back to De La Mora with another block. And then Michael Stain has a sleight of hand to go over the defender's head and in. Commerce is within 1-7-6. Alumni turns to Jack Trush. He would respond with a no-look shot. Then Rigo closes the first half with a 5-meter shot. Alumni is ahead 9-6. Commerce's Heredia strikes first with a rocket of a shot. And Alumni's lead is down to 2-9-7. Then Zelmer comes up with another save. But then a penalty in transition, giving Commerce another penalty shot try. Already it buries that. Eighth goal of the match for Commerce, but alumni leads 11-8. De La Mora opens the fourth with a penalty shot stop for Commerce, but the fourth, it was all alumni. Five goals from the team in blue. Two from Marty Matthews, one for Fuentes, two for Lincoln to round out the scores. And alumni takes it 16-8 over Commerce. Post-game, alumni's Kevin Witt and Daniel Lenhart talk about the opening weekend of National League. 
while Commerce's Carlos Heredia talks about his club's entry into the NL. Phenomenal first game of the 2019 National League for us. Uh, get to see some new faces and some old friends. It's a uh, start of a new season. Yeah, we had a good game against Commerce. We have some new rules, uh, so it makes things interesting, trying to learn those. A lot more exclusions, a lot more action. Um, yeah, it's a good start to the season. Uh, we just played against alumni. They're a great team. I feel like uh, we were exposed to high-level water polo, something we're not normally exposed to. It's a great opportunity, and I felt like we came out and we competed. And in addition to our two full game highlights, have to show you this play. Matt Kasora, the big field block to preserve the win for university over alumni. Now from National League, we look ahead to this coming weekend where the ODP Girls National Championship event is set to get underway in Riverside, California. You recall just a couple weeks ago, we had highlights of all the boys' action. Now it's the girls' chance. We'll be there. We'll be sharing all kinds of fun on social media, and we'll also have highlights of all the high-level medal round matches next week on the show. So make sure you tune in this weekend to our USA Water Polo social media channels, and then also next week on the counterattack. All the information you need is available now at usawaterpolo.org, including venues, tickets, schedules, and more. Now we turn to women's college water polo, and if you can believe it, we're almost about a month away from the conference tournament championship events to figure out who will go to the NCAA tournament. Let's get you caught up on all the big results from this past weekend. And now on to our Cap 7 college scoreboard. Some of the top teams in the land getting together. Cal edging Hawaii 10-9. to Then a little East Coast, West Coast. Azusa Pacific, one goal better than Bucknell. Long Beach State, a baseball score here. Low scoring against UC San Diego. They defeat the Tritons 5-1, to one. and then Big West action, big result early. UC Santa Barbara, one goal better than UC Irvine, 6-5. to five. That one could have implications down the road. Water polo on TV coming up in the next couple of weeks. Make sure you get tuned in to these matchups coming to the Big Ten Network, the always fun showdown between Indiana and Michigan, and then the Pac-12 Network schedule gets started as UC Irvine pays a visit to Stanford. Tune in for all those matchups. More to come as we get into the heart of conference play. Last week, we showed you this fun video from Ashley Johnson talking about her water polo journey and what it's like to block a shot. Take a look. Blocking a shot is such a great feeling. It's the execution of something that you practice so much and you prepare for so many times. You see those puzzles that everything kind of just fits in. Making a block makes me feel like I'm the puzzle piece that fits in. And now we close out the show as you do every week with our social media send off brought to you by our good friends at Cobian. We're going to begin as you do every week with our winner of free Cobian sandals. Remember, you can win by just commenting on a USA Water Polo Instagram post. Let's check out this week's winner. And our Cobian winner, congrats to Sup Surfer with this Instagram comment. Thanks for joining our USA Water Polo Instagram account and offering your thoughts. Always appreciate the enthusiasm and just that easy. Sup Surfer going to win a brand new pair of Cobian sandals. Rancho Tsunami Water Polo, they're taking the helicopter shot to a new level off the catch. Check it out. Good. Team USA athlete Chancellor Ramirez, he's digging the new USA Water Polo website. Us too. Thanks, Chancellor, for the tweet there via his Chancellor 04 Twitter account. Flop Friday, much like the helicopter shot, it's never going away. Fresno Pacific with their submission. As we take a look at this, yes, the diving board does add a degree of difficulty, but landing on the backside... It's not a true flop, makes it a bit less difficult. High praise for the ODP NTSC all these years later. Chris Godfrey, decades after his experience, still showing appreciation. Last week, we showed you Washington State football playing water polo. Now, Wittenberg men's lacrosse giving it a try. And last but not least, well done, Brotato Chip, starting them off young, only one month old, first water polo game, good stuff. So there it is, some of the best water polo on the internet this week. Keep your submissions coming, tag us at USAWP. That's all for this week's show. Thanks for watching, and don't forget when you're on the counterattack, even here at the National League, look weak side.